You're so brave. I'm proud of you. I ate a butterfly. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 funniest The Big Bang Theory quotes. I could not be allowed to go to the opening of the next Star Trek movie. Oh, that seems overly harsh. <laughs> We gave into a human weakness, she didn't kill a man. For this list, we'll be looking at quips from all 12 seasons that gave us the best laughs. We will be excluding catchphrases though, so Bazinga is off the table. What's your favourite quote from the show? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Would you like butter with that? The Indecision Amalgamation. In the seventh season, Sheldon was plagued by the difficult decision of choosing between a PS4 or an Xbox One. I'm employing the work of Dutch researcher Miriam Took, who found that people with full bladders make better decisions. Later, during dinner with Amy, he vents his frustration with Microsoft's naming conventions. Meanwhile, she unsuccessfully tries to get him to pass her the butter. When Amy shows no enthusiasm for this discussion, Sheldon calls her out. Then get the other one. Pass the butter. Get, hang on. I don't feel like you're taking this dilemma seriously. <laughs> Fine, Sheldon. You have my undivided attention. What follows is one of Amy's best scenes in the show. She responds with a series of exaggerated comments to Sheldon's quandary. It ends on a hilarious line as Amy demands that he give her the butter. This is a nightmare. How will you ever make a decision? See, I don't know. What should I do? Please pass the butter! <laughs> it doesn't happen often, but this perfect Amy moment sees Sheldon finally giving her what she wants. Number 9. Bernie makes a valid point about Sheldon. The Hawking Excitation. Sheldon himself said it best. Go ahead, Amy, say, I'm annoying. I'm annoying. I'm annoying. I'm annoying. For newcomers to the show, it would be pretty easy to walk away purely on how irritating Sheldon's arrogance and superiority can be. Throughout the show's run, he's made countless pot shots at everyone, but Howard often takes the brunt of his insults. Howard, you go ahead and eat. This isn't gonna make any sense to you. <laughs> Sheldon, I have a working understanding of physics. Yeah, good for you, and don't stop working on it. <laughs> However, this conversation with Bernie highlights why we actually find Sheldon so endearing. Bernadette's comment gives us a great laugh, while also providing a tiny bit of insight into the quirky genius. Just letting him have a little taste of his own medicine. It's not the same thing. Sheldon doesn't know when he's being mean because the part of his brain that should know is getting a wedgie from the rest of his brain. <laughs> Sheldon's intellect scale may tip far more towards the science side, and he's certainly lacking when it comes to any amount of emotional intelligence. Number 8. Howard's Survival Training – The Werewolf Transformation when Howard's friends found out he was going into space, they were both thrilled and surprised. You read it as 0800. It doesn't have an O in front of it. <laughs> you know, it does have an O in front of it. Oh my God, I'm an astronaut and you're dying of jealousy. Given his propensity to fear everything around him, having to endure the rigors of space travel seemed a bit of a stretch. None of this was more evident than when he had to go through overnight survival training with NASA. In a video chat with Bernadette, Howard gives the lowdown on how he spooned with an armadillo. And at some point during the night, an armadillo crawled in <laughs> and spooned me. He also found a way to push through his hunger with the aid of a butterfly. It was so small. <laughs> Beautiful. I was so hungry. The line itself is so simple, but it's Simon Helberg's facial expressions and hilarious delivery that make this quote killer. Number 7. Stuart finds his dating niche – The Desperation Emanation Until the show's last few seasons, Stuart had often been portrayed as the sad, clinically depressed comic book store owner. 
But early in season four, we were treated to a great scene where he appeared to be among the cool kids. You realize he's just rubbing our noses in the fact that he has a girlfriend and we don't? You mean you don't? Meanwhile, Leonard's feeling pretty down since everyone else, including Sheldon, seems to have a female companion in their life. Even Stuart proudly announces how his store had finally secured him a girlfriend after Leonard inquires over his relationship status. What about you, Stuart? You have a girlfriend yet? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I met her at Comic-Con. The one place in the world where saying I own a comic book store is an actual pickup line. <laughs> it's a line that would ring true later in the series when he'd hire and eventually date Denise. You are so hot. <laughs> Number 6. Sheldon Can't Let Go – The Skank Reflex Analysis Ah, Sheldon, it might be your first appearance on this list, but it certainly won't be your last. The Nobel Prize-winning character found his way into the hearts of millions with countless quips and comments that will forever stick with us. As season 5 opens, Sheldon delivers a memorable line highlighting his inability to let things slide. Just let it go, Sheldon. If I could, I would, but I can't, so I shan't. He's perplexed by Penny's comment about how. <laughs> it's, it's not what it looks like. <laughs> what does it look like? <laughs> Leonard wants him to drop it, but Sheldon isn't having any of it. They slept together, Sherlock. <laughs> no, you weren't listening. She said it's not what it looks like. Much like a dog with a bone, once Sheldon latches onto something, he's not letting go. It's a cute quote that reminds us that even geniuses can be funny. Number 5. Amy Welcomes Discipline – The Fish Guts Displacement it's no secret that Sheldon and Amy's relationship was very G-rated, at least for the first several years. You're sick, you poor kid. We'll see ya. <laughs> Sheldon, aren't you gonna take care of me? Me? No. So when Sheldon takes care of her while she's sick, she's more than happy to indulge a little longer than needed. But when she gets caught lying, Sheldon declares that she needs to be punished for her deception. It's there that we see Maya Bialik recite one of her best lines on the show ever. Are you saying you want to spank me? <laughs> but I don't want to. <laughs> but it looks like you left me no choice. The delivery shows the actress trying to restrain herself from laughing while answering Sheldon's question with the utmost sincerity. The outtakes from the final scene shows how much fun they had during filming. Oh my! <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Number 4. What Makes Sheldon Cry – The Gorilla Experiment Aside from his raw intelligence, there's one thing to be said about Sheldon Cooper. He's blunt. More does not equal Mary. If there were 2,000 people in this apartment right now, would we be celebrating? No, we'd be suffocating. He rarely holds back on whatever thought crosses his mind, which makes him so entertaining. It's not usually ill intent, but just one of his signature character traits. In the middle of season three, he tries to teach Penny some physics to help her comprehend Leonard's job. I just want to know enough so I can talk to Leonard about his job. You know, like Bernadette does. Why can't Leonard teach you? Because I want to surprise him. She struggles to keep up with her teacher and breaks down in tears before telling him she feels stupid. From there, we get a great moment where Sheldon's attempt to comfort her is both hilarious and overly forthright. Well, that's no reason to cry. <laughs> one cries because one is sad. For example, I cry because others are stupid and it makes me sad. Number 3. Bernie's Fake Laugh – The Hesitation Ramification if you live through the When Harry Met Sally era, you undoubtedly spotted the tribute to the famous restaurant scene in season 7 of The Big Bang Theory. Oh, oh, oh god, oh, yes, yes, 
as Amy complains about Sheldon's annoying jokes. Bernadette tells her that the easiest way to make him stop is by faking a laugh. Howard questions whether she's ever done that to him, ultimately deciding that she could never be convincing enough to fool him. No, I don't think you would. <laughs> Please, I made plenty of girls laugh, sometimes just by asking them out. <laughs> <laughs> this leads Melissa Rausch to channel her inner Meg Ryan. <laughs> is when she stops abruptly and goes back to eating, much like Sally did in the movie. Number 2. Penny's Comeback The Panty Piñata Polarization Although most of the characters tended to couple up as the show went on, one could argue that Sheldon and Penny were the most entertaining pair. I'm banished? What the hell kind of crap is that? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll talk to him. Yeah, you do that. Just so I know, would you be open to taking his class? <laughs> One of the best examples came early in season two when Sheldon banned Penny from the apartment for touching his food, leading to one of the show's funniest feuds. After Penny messes with Sheldon's laundry schedule, their argument in the basement results in one of Penny's best comeback lines. Woman, you are playing with forces beyond your ken. Yeah, well, your ken can kiss my Barbie. Penny may not know that ken means one's range of knowledge, but her street smarts produced an excellent snappy retort that audiences have loved ever since. Well played. <laughs> Thank you. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. No humility, the Stockholm Syndrome. Sheldon's never one to be humble. This is about humbly accepting a great honour. Amy, we won the Nobel Prize in physics. Humility is for people who win the goofy Nobels like literature, economics and peace. <laughs> a culinary quip, the Thanksgiving decoupling. Raj's play on words provides a good laugh. Well, you might have to cook for one more because she invited Zach. What? <laughs> my, my, the plot like my gravy thickens. The Grinch is relatable, the maternal congruence. We're not surprised Sheldon loved the Grinch. Yeah, I found the Grinch to be a relatable, engaging character. <laughs> And I was really with him right up to the point that he succumbed to social convention and returned the presents and saved Christmas. <laughs> what a buzzkill that was. Sheldon doesn't dance. The Gothowitz deviation. You're unlikely to find any version of Sheldon on the dance floor. Penny, while I subscribe to the many worlds theory which posits the existence of an infinite number of Sheldons in an infinite number of universes, I assure you that none of them am I dancing. A flustered Penny. The Cooper Nowitzki theorem. Penny shocked by Sheldon's new friend. Holy crap on a crap. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. I'm Not Crazy – Various It's been said that there's a fine line between genius and insanity. Those who see the world differently are often misunderstood and Sheldon Cooper's a perfect example, especially compared to those around him. My sister's got a kid who's special. <laughs> yeah, well, he's extra special. <laughs> On repeated occasions throughout the show's run, he's been called crazy by countless other characters. As a result, he's always ready with a quick and simple response to quash this misconception. I'm not crazy. My mother had me tested. <laughs> Much like Sheldon's Bazinga catchphrase, it's a quote we've heard time and time again over the show's 12 seasons. You're out of your mind, Sheldon. That's a negative. My mother had me tested. Over. <laughs> but no matter how often he recites it, we still love hearing it. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.